What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are here to talk about how to identify blitzes and how to pick them up. How to pick up a blitz. Know when the blitz is coming and when it's not coming. That is the key, what we want to know, guys. How to pick up the blitz and how to improve your pass blocking. All right, let's go to practice mode. We're going to go against whoever pops up. It looks like the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's welcome the Philadelphia Eagles to our practice facility. Normally a pretty good defense. All right, guys, what we want to do is learn to identify the blitz, pick up the blitz, and have better pass blocking, all right? So let me go to shotgun. That's when you normally see a lot of blitzes. Um, let's pick a play with a good route combination. Let's pick slot trail right there. All right. Let's go to um, nickel. And then we're going to put it on random play. All right. What we want to do on every play, even on run plays, but we're focusing on pass plays right now. You got to identify the threat, the blitz. Okay. You got two hot guys out there. Everybody else is accounted for. The blind play, it looks like all these guys are accounted for. Except for this guy, the hot guy, and this guy. Okay? That means, it doesn't mean they're both coming in. One of them or both of them are coming in or none of them are coming in. They could stay out uh, to play coverage. But at least you know the two hot guys you have to keep your eyes on when you snap the ball. Okay, that's the two guys you got to keep when you snap the ball. Now, see the hot guys right there? Those are the guys we're going to keep our eyes on. I'm not going to throw the football. Let's see who comes in and who doesn't. Neither one of them came in. So all you have to do is worry about the down lineman. All right, let's check it out. Identify the threat. Watch the threat whether they come in or not. Okay, neither one of them came in, so now all you have to deal with is the uh, down lineman right there. You got four down linemen. Now you can focus on hopefully your line block for you. You can more focus on downfield because you know the threat stayed in coverage. All right, let's go to the next play. Identifying the threats who could be the possible blitzers, guys. So, in here. Again, all, this, this guy's picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up. Here's your threats. That could come flying through the line and blow everything up, right? Okay, you see your, your hot guys, right? Your guys go, that could be bringing the heat. All right, now let's check it out. Again, they stayed in coverage. You only have to worry about your down lineman. All right. Identifying the threat. That's all you got to do, guys. Identifying the threat. Now, let's try something different. Okay, now. We got it on random defense. So, here, here's the threat this time. This guy's covered. All the linemen are covered. This guy's not accounted for. This guy's not accounted for. If one of them blitz, who's going to pick them up? Okay. Now, you could leave your back end. You don't know your back's going out for a pass, but you don't know who's coming in yet. You can guess. I don't know. You can get used. To, you can maybe they have a tendency you can notice. Okay, but what we're gonna do is keep our eyes on these. I keep making that mistake. What we're gonna do is keep our eyes on this on these two hot guys right here. All right. Let's see if they come in or not. Neither one of them came in. You only have to worry about the down line. That means they're not blitzing. So that means you're in a good route combination. Okay. Now, let me show you something. Now you have a mic out there. Okay. But your mic is accounted for. Now, normally when you see a mic, somebody's coming. All right. So here and here, your, your mic is blocked up. 
So since your mic is blocked up, normally I would switch the mic from probably this guy, maybe the closest threat, because this guy might be worried about coverage. This guy might come straight through this hole right here because he's not accounted for, right? So we probably want to make him the mic, but we're not going to do it right now. We're going to see if he's the one that comes in. We're just working on identifying the threat, guys. Let's see if he comes in. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. Identifying the threat, guys, is the key to this thing. Let's look at instant replay. We said he was the mic, but he was already accounted for. He wasn't accounted for. So, what we wanted to do is switch him to the mic, but I didn't switch him to the mic, and we saw what happened. He came right through the gap. He hit, he, he missed, he should have came through the gap, but I don't know why he didn't come straight through, but he was the extra man on that side, and he got the sack. Okay? Let's do it again. Identifying the threat, guys. Identifying the threat. Okay? We don't see a mic this time, so normally, a good key, guys, if you don't see a mic out there, most likely they're not coming, okay? You can relax a little bit, but these guys could be coming. But you still got, they worried about guys coming across the middle. Look at my route combination. We got one, two guys coming across, Dotson in motion, and then we got McCaffrey. They could swing right around the middle. So most likely, if we don't see a mic, they're not coming, guys. They're not coming. All right, so let's see if we only have to worry about the down lineman on this play. Yep, we just have to worry about the down lineman. Identifying the threat, guys. That's all we want to do is identifying the threat and improve our pass blocking. Okay, now let's go to the next play. Okay, we have a mic. So most likely somebody's coming. Not necessarily, but somebody may be coming when you have a mic. This mic is taken care of already. So we have an open threat that's not accounted for. Another open threat that the line blocks are not accounted for. He's accounted for. He's accounted for. These guys are accounted for with the line, right? He's not and he's not. So we have a mic. Now what I'm going to do is identify the mic. I'm going to identify this guy as a mic because he's already accounted for with a blocker. This guy's going to double team him. And then he's going to branch out and get that mic. So let's make this guy the mic real quick, okay? Let me let me clear my chalkboard here. All right. Let's make him the mic. So we're going to make him the mic. Now let's look at the blocking scheme. He's covered, okay? Now, this guy is not covered, okay? So like I said, whenever you see a mic, somebody's coming. But you want to take the closest threat out, okay? My lineman may be able to pick him up, but he's a threat. So we're going to keep an eye on him, okay? This guy right here. We're going to keep an eye on him. Somebody's coming. All right, let's check it out. He didn't come. He stayed in coverage. He stayed in coverage. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's see. We said we switch him to the mic, but we say he might be coming. Okay. But he didn't come. He didn't come. So when we snap the ball, we notice he didn't come. We only have to worry about the down lineman. So we picked the mic up. Remember? We identified him as the mic. We picked him up. Okay, look, we picked him up. Right there. But the, the loose guy that we that could have been the threat, he didn't come in. Now look at this. This guy over here came in. Like I said, guys, somebody's coming when normally when you see the mic. That guy right here came in. Let's look at it on the replay. Look at that. He's the extra man. Nobody's blocking him. But he couldn't get there in time if I had to throw the ball. He was an extra blocker, okay? Normally when you see a mic, somebody's coming. But you want to take care of the closest threat, okay? Now, 
We didn't know, we didn't know this guy was coming, but we knew somebody was coming, right? Our immediate threat, this guy was picked up. Let's do one more. <clears throat> All right. This takes practice, guys, identifying the mic, identifying the threat, okay? Beat any blitz. Now, if I wanted to throw the ball and I saw the blitz happen, I can beat it. Okay, let's do it this time. Let's do it this time if we see a threat. Okay, right now, everybody's accounted for except for the hot guy right here and this hot guy. Okay, he's already been identified as picked up, but it doesn't matter. So if I change the blocking scheme, you know when you see the center doing this in the NFL, he's identifying the mic and changing the blocking scheme. What we're going to do, we're going to make... Um, Let's make this this guy right here the mic, all right? Let's see what happens. Let's see how the blocking changes. All right, so, okay, he's already the mic. Okay, he's already the mic. Now let's look at the blocking scheme. Now he's blocked. So that's gonna leave this guy and this guy as a potential threat, okay? Now, if I look at my, my route combinations, if one of those guys come in, we got a completion. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do it, hold this thing right. Not necessarily this guy, but if he comes in, one of my this guy and, and McCaffrey and Dawson coming across the middle here, we we can always look for the quick hit. We can look for the quick hit, but he may not come in. None of those guys may not come in, but we know what his threats are. Okay. We look at our blocking scheme. We know what his threats are. Okay, on the right side there. That could be bringing the heat. <clears throat> see, I was looking to get the ball out, knowing the heat's coming. But, you know, I, I, I didn't really pay attention to see what came. I just know I knew we were going to have a potential threat, right? So let's see who came in. We know... This dude and this dude was the threats, right? We know they them two was the threats. Let's check it out. Both of them dropped back into coverage. So we only have to worry about the four. So I got time to throw. Look at that pocket. You can scan the field. Once you see the potential threat it's not coming in, you're good. You're good. Okay? Now, in the beginning of the play, we did not see a mic on the play. All right, guys, let's do one more, okay? Now, we do see a mic out there now, okay? We see a mic out there, this guy right here, but he's already accounted for. So we need to worry about him and him. Normally, when you see a mic, what does that mean? Somebody's coming. It might not be these two guys. It could be this guy right here. Somebody's coming. Let's check it out. Not all, not 100% of the time that somebody's coming, but that's when you think somebody's just coming. Let's check it out. I'm not going to throw the ball. Let's see who comes. All right, let's look at the replay. Guys, I'm not an expert at this. I just practice this stuff, right? I just practice this stuff. Let's see who came. We did not identify the mic or anything. Okay, this guy came. He came. Like I said, normally when you see a mic out there already with an M over their head, somebody's coming. All right? Now, you may not think he's the immediate threat. I would never think he was the immediate threat, but understand somebody is coming. All right? Now, watch him as he come in. He's coming right down the edge. But he got picked up. He got picked up. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. You can also do the head count. Who's come? Who could be coming in? If you see more than what your line can block, then you need to identify the mic, the closest threat, and then throw the football. All right, guys. I'm Hollywood Sports. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on my next video.